In 2019, a shocking news story struck the world and it invoked horrific memories of the Second World War. Inside of a cemetery in Berlin, there was a grave which was disturbed and this grave was opened by someone who knew the identity of the man who was laid to rest inside of it. This grave was unmarked, but Reinhard Heydrich, the man who has been labelled as a butcher of Prague and one of the most evil Nazis of the Second World War and history, was a man who was subjected to the violating of his grave. It's not known why the grave had been tampered with, and it was confirmed that none of the remains were removed. However, someone was looking for something, and it could have been the sword or the uniform that Heydrich was buried in, and this would fetch a huge sum of money today. However, the cemetery where Heydrich is buried in, the Invalid Cemetery, or the Invalidenfriedhof, holds the dark history as part of the cemetery was known as a death zone when the Berlin Wall went up, meaning someone could be executed within the walls of the cemetery. Welcome to the Untold Past. Join us today as we look at the horror of the Nazi cemetery in Berlin. And as always, to support, please make sure to subscribe. The Invalidenfriedhof, or the Invalid Cemetery, was named after former veterans' houses and hostels which were nearby, which former soldiers used to recover following sustaining injuries on the battlefield. It is one of the oldest cemeteries inside Berlin, and following the Napoleonic Wars, it was designated as a cemetery mostly for Prussian military, and there was a section inside the graveyard for those classed as special nobility. There were also some who had fallen during the 1848 German Revolution buried there. There are a number of notable tombs from the 19th century inside the cemetery, including that of General Gerhard von Scharnhurst, who was considered a Prussian hero during the Napoleonic Wars, and his tomb is one of the largest within the cemetery's walls. It is a large burial site, and by 1872 there had been around 18,000 funerals carried out within the gates, and during the First World War there were many other soldiers who were repatriated back to Berlin, and specifically to the Invalid Cemetery. A number of commanders and officers who fought in the First World War, such as Helmer von Mille, Karl von Bülow and Max Herfmann, were buried there, and there were a number of prominent members of the Freikorps also buried in the cemetery. These were people who rose up in the aftermath of the war, and they were paramilitary armed former members of the army who rose up. But one of the most prominent people who was buried for a number of decades inside the cemetery was Manfred von Richthofen, who was commonly known as the Red Baron. The fighter pilot Ace was actually buried a number of times, and the German government requested that his body should be repatriated to the Invalidenfriedhof in Berlin, to be laid to rest amongst other German military heroes and leaders. His body was then given a state funeral, and it was then laid to rest inside the cemetery, and the Nazis would later hold a huge memorial service to the Red Baron by the site of his grave, and they even gave him a huge tombstone, which was engraved with the simple word, Richthofen. But this specific grave was later damaged by bullets as Soviet forces fired on those who attempted to escape from East Germany. But in 1975, the Red Baron's body was moved from the cemetery to a family plot in Wiesbaden. But further senior military personnel were buried inside the cemetery, but when the Nazi regime rose and the Third Reich emerged with the rise of Hitler to power, the cemetery would then be filled with a number of prominent Nazis. This led to the cemetery getting a rather infamous reputation for itself. There were many senior Nazis who were buried inside the cemetery, along with former members of the military. This included Werner von Fritsch, the commander-in-chief of the German army from 1934 to 1938, and he was later ousted from power, and this allowed Hitler to gain more of a stranglehold over the military and the armed forces. Fritz was given a ceremonial state funeral following his death, and it was claimed of this that... They buried General von Fritsch here this morning. It rained. It was cold and dark. One of the dreariest days I can remember in Berlin. Hitler did not show up, nor Ribbentrop, nor Himmler, though they all returned to Berlin from the front this afternoon. Also buried there was fighter ace Werner Mulders, who became the first pilot to shoot down 100 enemy aircraft, and he was a very well-decorated soldier. However, he died whilst being a passenger in a plane but he was also given a state funeral, and there was a guard of honour made up of senior Nazis and Luftwaffe officers. He was buried next to the Red Baron, and also Ernst Uday, 
another flying ace who died by his own hand after he was seen to be failing in his position as the chief of procurement and supply for the Luftwaffe. One of the most senior Nazis who was buried inside the Invalidenfriedhof was Fritz Tott, the munitions minister and founder of Operation Tott, which supplied German industry with forced slave labour. Tott was rather well thought of, and he was responsible for the creation of the Autobahn, but he was also made the Minister of Armaments and War Production in 1940, and there were hundreds of thousands of workers forced to conduct back-breaking horrific work because of Tott's actions. He died in February 1942, when his aircraft crashed shortly after takeoff, and he was then buried inside of a cemetery in the heart of Berlin. Walter von Reichnau was the commander of the Sixth Army during the invasion of Belgium and France, and was buried there also, and he was nicknamed as the Bull, and he was known for his slaughter of civilians. He was involved in the massacre of thousands, and despite being known for being a fit cross-country runner, Reichenau suffered a stroke during a run, and he was then taken back to Leipzig, and his plane crashed on landing. It's not known whether he died from his injuries on the plane, or from the stroke, but his body was then taken back to Berlin, where it was buried alongside other prominent Nazis. But as mentioned earlier, the most infamous and barbaric Nazi buried inside the Invalidenfriedhof, who still remains there, is Reinhard Heydrich. Heydrich was the chief of the Reich security main office, and he was known by Hitler as the man with the iron heart, and he was also one of the orchestrators of the final solution. He brought a huge amount of suffering to Europe, and he was responsible for the slaughter of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands personally. Heydrich was referred to as a butcher of Prague, and he was sent as a Reich's protector of Bohemia and Moravia to bring the region to heel. But Heydrich was assassinated by Czech resistance fighters, trained by Special Operations Executive, and he died from his injuries on the 4th of June 1942. His coffin was taken back to Berlin on a train, and there was a huge funeral held for him, and a special second funeral service was held inside the Reich Chancellery. Hitler was present, and Himmler gave the eulogy, and Heydrich was then buried inside the Invalidenfriedhof. But his exact burial spot, as mentioned, had been lost to time, but there were some who knew the real location of the grave, and there was a wooden marker removed, so his grave did not become a site of pilgrimage for neo-Nazis after the war. But as mentioned, his grave was opened, but nothing was taken. But a photograph taken during the funeral and burial service showed that Heydrich was buried in Section A of the cemetery, close to the North Wall. Hitler planned for Heydrich to have a huge tomb, but as the Second World War turned against the Germans, this was never made. But Heydrich was not the final burial inside the Invalidenfriedhof, as Kurt Haas, a German general, was buried there, and he had commanded the Third Corps during the invasion of Poland and France, and a further German general, Hans Valentin Huber, was buried close by. He also died from an air crash, and it seems that many of the men buried there were victims of air crashes. Huber was also given a state funeral. Towards the end of the Second World War, as the Battle of Berlin raged on and the Soviet Red Army stormed into the city, there was a significant amount of damage in the cemetery from artillery and from gunfire, and some of the graves still have damage on them from bullets and shrapnel. The cemetery at the end of the war fell into the Soviet sector of the divided Berlin, and it was stated that the tombstones and grave markers of the prominent Nazis and any figures relating to them should be removed. The resting places of those such as Heydrich and Tot were covered up and their identifying markers were then taken away. But many inside the city knew the true locations of the burials. There was further destruction and change inside of the cemetery following the building of the Berlin Wall, and the western part of the cemetery was on the bordered strip, and part of it was flattened to make way for the wall, as well as watchtowers and other structures, and this then became known as the Death Strip. Around this part of the border, there were some who were shot by the Soviet border police. For example, the first, Gunter Liftin, was shot whilst trying to flee to the west. He attempted to swim to freedom across the canal that borders the cemetery, but he would not make it. The first death of a border guard occurred here when Peter Goering shot at someone trying to flee on the 23rd of May 1962, then West Berlin police shot back. Further shooting and bloodshed took place as more people who tried to flee were killed and also two West Berliners were shot. Today parts of the Berlin Wall do survive inside the cemetery 
and some of the graves that had been destroyed were reconstructed and remade, but the grave sites of the most infamous and notorious Nazis have been left unmarked. But the Invalidenfriedhof, or the Invalid Cemetery, began life as a noble military cemetery, but its reputation got tarnished with the burials of those members of Hitler's government and the Nazi party who carried out horrific actions. Men such as Heydrich were buried amongst other prominent military leaders. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.